Hello, welcome to my channel and to today's video. My name's Kaylin, if you're new, and I make videos about cleaning, organizing, decorating, um, kind of just like lifestyle homemaking, but also um, I have alopecia and I wear wigs, so I have a wig on right now, and I like to make videos about um, how to take care of wigs, just about alopecia, wig reviews, things like that. So if you are interested in those things, you should keep watching. Today's video, though, is going to be an organizing video. A little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing. Um, I ordered some items from the container store forever ago, and I've just been waiting for a weekend where I had time to do them, or to put them where I want them. Uh, so I wanted to do that with you guys today um, to bring you some organizing motivation and a little bit of cleaning. It's just, it's my weekend and I have kind of just some general cleaning to do. So I figured I would put some of that in today's video. Um, it's Saturday. I woke up, did my grocery pickup, did my workout. We got yummy oils going in the diffusers. So... I'm ready and uh, we're gonna get to organizing. So I'm gonna first show you the items that I got. Um, there's three of them and then we're gonna get to putting them where they go. Okay, so I kind of fibbed, but I didn't mean to fib. I actually have four things, um, two of one thing, but technically four. So, um, and the, one of the things is actually not from the container store, it's from Amazon. So I'll show that one first. Um, so at our old house, I had a vanity and on my vanity I had, my makeup in like this perfect little drawer, um, but I don't have a vanity now. I'm, I need to buy a new one. So right now I just have my makeup in like this big bag. Um, and I'll show you guys like every day I'm getting ready and I'm looking in it and I like can't find my brushes and what I want. And it just kind of is, gets irritating. <laughs> so I ordered this like little makeup organizer to put on the bathroom counter just to make it easier to see everything that I have. So I need to get my makeup put into this. And then I ordered this, this is from the container store, this gravity can feeder um, for the pantry. So I do think I have more cans than what will fit in here, um, but we'll just do what we can with it and then if I need another one I'll get another one I guess um the other thing I got my dog chewed on the box was so these are again container store like stackable baskets let me get out of this they're supposed to be stackable, but this is the front, so you can reach in and grab. And then I think my shelves, um, there's actually not enough space between my shelves to stack them. So I don't think I'll be able to stack them, but we'll see. I apologize if you can hear the beeping in the background. My husband is running the Bobcat and dump truck, and they beep when you reverse. Maybe I should close the windows. But they do stack, so I'll just have to see. I don't think I'm gonna have room, but that's okay. And then the last item is something that I have two of. Um, so in our master bathroom, the under the sinks, we have dual sinks, is that what you call it? And there's just big cupboards underneath with no shelves and no drawers. So you could imagine it just kind of like, you just throw everything in there and it's kind of just like a big mess. So I got these and I'm hoping that they're nice. It's an like under, or it's cupboard organizer. I don't know, <laughs> what do they call it? Expandable under sink organizer. So I have high hopes for this. I got two, one for my side and one for my husband's side. I think I'm gonna start with my makeup just because, oh, ignore all my freaking, we went camping and I got like bit alive by mosquitoes. Um, I'm gonna start with the makeup and then we're gonna do under the sink and then we'll move on to the pantry last, I think. So let's go to my bag. So this is like the big bag and it's actually like an insert to a purse, but everything is just a mess in there and I'm like always oh, digging through it and it just takes forever. Um, so. We're going to pull all this out. I'll probably wash this bag out, put it back in the purse that it belongs in, and then 
put my makeup in that little stand. So here we go. You guys, I couldn't even begin to tell you how long I have had this little acrylic organizer and I've just been trying to find the time to get this done as well as the container store stuff. Um, August has just been really, really crazy. We've had um, people visiting and we've just been doing a lot on the weekends because it's been so hot. So we've wanted to go enjoy the sun. So definitely not complaining about that. We've done a lot of fun stuff, but I feel kind of behind at home. I've kind of, to be honest, I felt a little bit behind kind of ever since we moved. I've, I'm still having a hard time getting back in my groove at the new house. There's just new responsibilities at the new house and different types of chores. So I'm still trying to get a routine. I'm still trying to get back into a consistent routine with YouTube. I really want to upload more regularly than I'm doing now, but we'll get there. Not trying to complain or anything, but um, that's kind of where I'm at. So I was just really excited to finally get to organize my makeup. So you'll see I had to play with it a little bit. Um, a couple of the sections, if they would have just been a tiny bit wider, that would have been perfect. But you'll see at the end that I do end up making it work. Um, but I tried quite a few different ways before I decide that I like it. Okay, so I'm really happy with how my little makeup thing turned out. I struggled a little bit with some of like the sizes um, that I had and the size of my makeup, but that's okay. Um, so now I'm going to show you like the messes that are under the sink. So you could probably see how it's just like this big open void. It would be really easy to kind of let this get really messy and to just throw stuff down there. So it really needs some shelves, some drawers, you know, just some things to kind of contain like sized items and like type items. So I'm just going to start with pulling everything out and then building the little shelves and you'll see how I get everything organized. Also, if you're new to my channel, please say hello in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm also really curious for the people who watch my channel, do you, or what made you find my channel? Was it the wig videos? Is it the cleaning, organizing, decorating? I'm just curious. I really like to make both types of videos, but um, just curious like what brought you here? What made you stay? Um, what kind of videos do you like? Um, okay. These are the instructions, so here we go. So as you saw, I got started with putting it together. I did actually have to take that back one off and slide the shelf in first and then put the rod back in because of the little plumbing fixture underneath. Um, so I did that and then I got that put in there. So now I'm just getting the shelves put in. It is really cool how if you do have plumbing on your sink, under your sink, they kind of like plan for that. So you can have just a spot that doesn't have a shelf um, to make room for your fixtures, but that's what's cool about how it's expandable and you can organize it how you want. But now I'm just going through the stuff that are on my, the, the stuff, the things that are on my husband's side of the sink and figuring out the best way to organize and make them fit under here. You'll see at the end, I do really like how both sides turned out and I'm glad that I got these and that I finally found the time to get them put under the sinks and organized.
All right, husband side down, time for mine. As you can see, I have a lot more stuff under my side than he has. I have way too many lotions, way too many sprays, just way too much beauty products. Um, I don't need to buy any for a long, long time. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, so I'm just going to start again by taking all my stuff out. I struggled a lot more with deciding how I wanted to organize mine. You'll see once I get going. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it was the shapes of my items or just the amounts of certain things I had because I was trying to keep like shaped items together, but also similar items like keep the lotions with the lotions and things like that. Um, I eventually get it figured out, but you will see me kind of rearrange things a few different times. This was about the moment I finally kind of figured out how I wanted. I, I put all of my like bath stuff in that drawer. So like bath salts, bubble bath, things like that. Um, and then once I did that, I kind of felt like the rest just kind of finally came together. this gravity can feeder thing um, I apologize too for the lighting my old house it didn't matter like where I was I had good lighting like pretty much everywhere it was just the way all of our windows pretty much like faced direct sunlight at our new house all of my windows actually face the off like the Sun's behind me but all my windows are in front of me and I love, love, love our new house. Um, welcome to our kitchen that um, we will be redoing eventually, but um, I just don't have as good of lighting and we live kind of like up in the trees. Um, so I just don't get as much natural sunlight. So I apologize for the shadows and all of that, but um, getting that out of the way, let's get this put together.
Now let's show you my pantry and kind of like what I'm working with. Um, so it's not the most organized pantry in the world, but I do already have, so this is a really big basket. I got this from Target and then I got these and this one from Target. They are all the same basket. These three are just smaller and then that one's really big. I already have a few things that I'm using to try to organize like certain items, but it could still be a lot better. Um, I have some of these like giant, I think they're like half gallon. Maybe they're a gallon. I don't know. Um, I think they're half gallon. Big mason jars for some of my like protein powders and things like that. And also for some pasta. But that's what we're working with. So I'm going to start with these cans down here and put what I can into that can feeder. And then, to be honest with you, I still don't know what I want to put in those stackable baskets. It's kind of more for produce, but I have um, I have this out here that I put produce in. So, I don't know. I guess I could start putting onions and potatoes in the pantry, and I could strictly keep this for, like, apples and oranges and, like, things like that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So once again, before I start the reorganizing, I'm just going to take all the cans off the shelf so that I can put the gravity feeder on the shelf and then start arranging the cans how I want. And you guys will see, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the cans actually did fit on it. I had to leave a few off, but not very many. There were two that didn't fit, so I just figured I'll keep them in front. Green beans are right there, and then I put this little can of peas in front of it. These big old tomato soup cans here, and then since these were little, I just put them here. This is all soups, and then this is kind of a mixture of soup, beans, and of course my OCD wants whatever's in front to have that be the only thing that's behind it, but I realize that that's just kind of not practical, but... This is more like fruit, pumpkin puree, and some carrots. And then over here, I just kept these mandarin oranges, pineapple, tomato sauce, and some bushes. So that's what I did for the cans. And then I kind of need to figure out what to do with those other baskets. So I'm going to brainstorm on that for a minute, and then we'll keep going. Again, weird lighting, I apologize. Um, but I have been like staring at my pantry trying to figure out what to do with this. And one thing I have noticed that drives me nuts a little bit is like all my free floating like baking things. So I'm going to take some and put them in here and just kind of like see how they fit. And then if I like how that fits, then that's what we'll use this for, so. Take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it slow. with this so I use it for baking stuff so I pretty much just took all my random like loose baking items that kind of float around the pantry 
and put them in there. And then the things I left out were items that were already in like big containers. So, I love it. We both know how to swim. No worries, let's go for now. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom. Starting with the dishes from breakfast and lunch today, the last thing we're gonna do on this video is a little bit of cleaning for some good cleaning motivation for you guys. Next thing I do is just take my Murphy's oil soap after I tidy this table up and I wipe down the wood furniture in the kitchen, the living room. I'm gonna give the living room a super quick tidy and then move on to a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen. kitchen for now is just take my thieves cleaner and wipe down the countertops and then I'm gonna take my um, oh, what is it called method steel for real I think is what it's called and just clean the fronts of the appliances down
All right, guys, I think that's all the cleaning and organizing I'm gonna do for today's video. I do have a few more things to do. I still need to do my floors, put some laundry away, um, clean some windows, dust, things like that. Um, there's always stuff to do around the house though, right? So, um, but to not make this video like a million years long. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope we got some cleaning or some organizing motivation, um, and I hope to see you on my next video. So thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna stick around for more, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time where